Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be going over the RNG. I'm not going to go over all of the numbers or anything like that. I'm just going to be discussing my experiences here and how it is absolutely nonsense. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button if you do not like the random RNG in Pokemon Go. And let's get on with it here. So yes, it's going to seem a bit ironic that I do have four shiny Yanmas, right? Got them all yesterday, and as well as that amazing PvP pincer, pretty happy about that. But that does not fix the fact of the matter for the other random number generator things that are happening here. Regarding specifically, I'm going to talk about the Breakthrough Box and Mewtwo. There's a RNG for everything basically, right? Now, if you do not know what RNG is, it's random number generator. Basically, whatever odds you have for a specific thing, say a Mewtwo, so currently you have a 1 in 19 chance to encounter a shiny Mewtwo after you have done the raid. And I have done 70 of these raids and have encountered one. While at the same time, people with newer accounts, lower levels, who are barely out there raiding, are getting them back to back. Multiple. Day in and day out. It makes absolutely no sense. I know exactly why. We're going to go over that towards the end of this video on my thoughts on why they're actually getting those shinies more so than people that are investing a ton of money into this game. It's possibly to nerf the pay to win? Who knows? That's a possibility though, for sure. Okay, we just opened our box and we did not even receive a Unova stone. What is this? Shouldn't it be like guaranteed and not in the Eevee? <laughs> I, I mean the Eevee, really? Let's go ahead and take a look. So we do have the chance of getting, as you've seen, I got the rare candies, Pineapps, which is a slap. It's a double slap. It's a triple slap in the face. Make it five slaps in the face because you get five of those. If you do get that through your breakthrough, then you have Pokeballs, which is it's nice, I guess. Uh, Ultra Balls, five of those. Another five slaps in the face. And then the possibility of a Unova Stone. So as you've seen there, I did not get any Unova Stone whatsoever. I got the rare candies. Do you think that should be something that is guaranteed once you've reached that seventh stamp. I mean, come on. I personally think you should be rewarded with a stone. Now, we're gonna look at mine. As you've seen, I had a ton of Sinnoh stones at this point, and it's probably going to become the same way with the Unova stone over time, eventually. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, Poke, what's the big deal? Why do you need the Unova stone so badly? Do you wanna evolve your Panpour? No, not at all. I want to evolve a Litwick, which I, have still yet to hatch and that's fine those should be rare they are brand new pokemon i was grateful and happy enough and lucky enough to actually hatch a dino which uh that's pretty amazing but the fact that i've done up to 70 raids and received one shiny mewtwo which i honestly just want to transfer and get it out of my inventory because it's just it, it i have to think about how many I've done at this point, I've gotten one where you have newer trainers coming in and getting them right back to back to back to back. Level 24s. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, what's the point of this video? Just you going on a rant. Absolutely. That's exactly what this video is. It's a simple rant because RNG is nonsense. I used to have decent luck putting in good work and getting return, but it seems like it's took a turn for the worst and I just seem to just get nothing but uh, I'm not going to say trash, but it, it's not like what it should be. Uh, I sound very entitled saying this, and honestly, uh, this is a little bit of a, a little bit of an entitlement here, uh, I suppose. But I know there's a lot of you out there who've done a ton of the raids, ton of whatever, not specifically Mewtwo, other legendaries, and have yet to receive any sort of shiny. 70 Mewtwo raids, $70.00. Okay, oh, you can minus, you know, say seven bucks. All right, this hasn't even been out for seven days, like $5 for the free rate passes, right? Okay, well, $65 worth and I've received one. Why do I need the shiny? It's just a different color. Doesn't really matter. You should just power up that 98% uh, size strike you have there and call it a day. Absolutely, 100%. But I need these to trade, right? Not just for that, other reasons, content and everything else. And I, on, I deleted all of my Mewtwo encounter catch screens. I was going to make a montage a while back and uh, go through all of the shinies that I did catch. But 
you know, hit, hit that high number of raids and I still have only received one. So I just went ahead and deleted them all. Now, I do have a ton of Ryulu. I do have a ton of Craniados. I hatch good things from time to time. Community days are always fantastic. I'm putting in the work, but it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem like it's worth it anymore to be putting in the money. Now, at, in my specific position here, we went over that you know how much i've spent in the game and why i spent so much it's because taxes reasons and it's my literal business so have to invest in the business and simple as that right but if i simply just played this game and say i had another job and this was just something that i did on the side for fun right and I would not spend this much money. I wouldn't even, I probably would have invested maybe uh, like 200 bucks at this point uh, if it was just a side deal and I was having fun with it without YouTube or anything like that. Because why? Why would I want to? It seems like they're basically rewarding newer trainers. And here, this is here, this is my theory. And I know a lot of you think the same thing. And this is not to down talk on to newer trainers or anything like that. I'm just simply stating what I think here. But it is to my belief that people who invest a ton of money into this game do not have good RNG because for some reason in the algorithm of the game or whatever is going on here, they see you as locked in. They have you already. You're investing money. If you do not get what you want, they know that you're going to continue to continue on and try to get it. This could be all just crazy talk and the RNG. It's just a coincidence that this happens. But it's just happening time and time again where lower, lower level trainers are simply getting these shinies back to back to back to back. First raid pass of the day. Oh, I just bought two, two more raid passes and they got another shiny. Well, meanwhile, I'm over here spending and investing in all these sale boxes with digital nothing. It's literally a poof in the air when I'm giving my real hard-earned cash to them. And it's just nothing. Again and again and again and again. Yet, I don't understand why the lower levels are getting it. Well, probably because the lower levels are not spending money and they want to get them hooked into the game by rewarding them with shiny Pokemon. Now, speaking of which, I got all these luckies, as you can see here. Wow, perfect timing. Sorry, brother. This is, <laughs> this is my bro here. And uh, it was nice. I got all these lucky uh, few legacies here. Um, but here's the thing. So we went to do Entei's raid day. This was his first time. He hasn't touched the game. He opened it back up when he came to visit me. He's like, yeah, you know, you play Pokemon Go. I'm going to play with you too, right? All right. So we had a good time. Went out, did Entei Raid Day, and the guy found, what, what? I think he found, like, something around eight. Eight or seven shiny Entei's. Are you actually serious? And I have a feeling that's because the account has been unactive for so long that they want to entice that specific person with that account who hasn't been playing for a while. Hey, look at this. This is what the game has to offer. Look at all these amazing shinies that you just caught on this raid hour raid community day or the three hour period that they had for the the beasts and therefore they get them to continue to play guess what i think it worked because my brother's playing and he's investing money <laughs> not a bunch sorry sorry brother not to call you out or nothing i'm just trying to give an example here to the people and i go and get what three honestly i didn't oh what's it there we go i got three yeah that's right i <sighs> I don't care about the Entei, and shinies are just a different color. But when you're out here on the hard grind, trying to specifically get a shiny that you really want, just to get nothing in return, after investing so much, it gets a little old. Yes, you're out here grinding for the raids to get items. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. But that's not just it. I love the rare candies. I love everything else, the TMs. Oh, and speaking of TMs, let me show you a little something here. Let me show you a little something here. All right, so, yeah, the TM deal. All that, and then on top of the RNG, this one right here, I did TM it to Bug Buzz because I wanted, you know, my Yon Megas to all have Bug Buzz here. And I'm not going to purchase a secondary move on this one because there's no need, really. 
Guess how many charge TMs it took me to get this. It originally had ancient power. You can go back and watch my other videos when I was looking at my Yan Mega and look at my items. I think I go to my TMs. I may have had more because I didn't go I did go out and do some more Mewtwo raids and receive a few more. But it took me nine. Nine charge TMs to get Bug Buzz. Now if you want to tell me, well, restart your app. Restart your phone. Log out, log back in, that may work. Come on. I appreciate the help, but are you serious? Do we have to really do that to actually change the RNG to get the move that we want? And honestly, I don't even think that works. I've done it, and I still went back in, and it still continued to shuffle through the same two moves. And that's that's just a Pokemon with three moves. If something has five moves, like Mewtwo, four moves, you're going to be in big, big trouble if you actually are trying to get a specific move. So if you do not have, say... 12 charge TMs, you may get lucky and get it on your first try. That is the possibility for sure. But you also have the possibility of wasting all of those hard earned charge TMs on bouncing back between the two. Why can we not pick our moves at this point? Why would, why? I don't get it. We still can't pick the moves. We earn these, no here, like I've suggested before, obviously the special TM, which will allow you to get the legacy moves, extremely hard to obtain. We've been over that. But what else can we talk about here? If you have a specific amount of TMs, say you have, uh, I don't know, three charge TMs, right? There would be an option to use two of those or three. I don't know exactly what would be a better option, but if you did uh, do that, it would allow you to specifically pick the move that you want instead of bouncing back between the two, bouncing back between the two. This RNG has got to go. It's got to go or they have to fix it or implement some sort of Features that will allow you to do something else to get what you need. Now, I'm not talking about going out there and guaranteeing shiny every single time, okay? But you guys see where I'm coming from. This is getting a little ridiculous. The RNG in this game is broken. Now, I did have decent odds with the Rayquaza. I did do many. I did a lot of those. I, I couldn't even tell you how many I did, but somewhere roughly around 100. And I did a few in, in DC, uh, but solely playing in Alaska... You know, and having other obligations on the side, it is pretty difficult to do a bunch of raids because this place is not abundant with raids. So, I'm looking good. I did get a 100 Relicant. Wow. I'm happy about that. That's cool. That's cool. Very nice. Other shinies, I do fairly well, but not like before, especially with all the grinding that I'm doing. So, anyways, thought I'd just uh, give you my thoughts on that. Sympathize with the people out there who have horrible odds. And now let's sacrifice this flower crown Eevee to the RNG gods. Later. Don't need it. Waste of time. Why are those in the breakthrough boxes? And with that said, trainers, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this rant. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be bringing you more constructive videos in the future, as well as the news. Take care.